capturing did you extensively to once again accept my most humblest respect to you and to the entire crew that put this thing together today i want our people to understand one very thing at the end of this very race Biafra is going to emerge. It doesn't matter what anybody does. And to our African friends and brethren, I want them to also understand this. We talk about Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism cannot take off without Biafra. Because we do need a genuinely free country in Africa to be able to drive that very critical and important initiative. We are seeking to build a country that God Almighty in heaven will be very proud of. And though the Janja we did you extensively to once again accept. First and foremost to say, Kala Yahawa, Bashem Yawashai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Today, we are on Biafra Nation, the kingdom of God on the earth. A part of uh, just is a quote from Mazin and the Kano. Had it been I had the video, I would have played it. The statement from his own voice. All praises to the Most High. So we can see here, we have a link at the bottom of those images. If you're really interested to know more about the uh, Biafra nation and the Yoruba nation, their purpose on this planet, okay, you can uh, get, go to the link and through the power of the Most High God, we get more understanding. I will say, in the Igbo, in the Wono, Anna Mekelonu na Ulisaid Benigwe. I'm greeting you in the mighty name of Yahweh. Sorry if I didn't pronounce uh, my Igbo properly. I'm a Yoruba man. However, I know we belong to the same father. Okay, on this channel, we talk only any prophecy, anything we're talking about is we're using the scripture to back whatever we are saying. And again, The Bible is not a religious book, okay? All the actors in the Bible, they are black-skinned, dark-skinned men. Even who they call Jesus is a black man, okay? It's high time we have to know that. And in this agitation, we have to know how our God looks like and the people he came to die for, okay? And we have to know our position being an a Biafran and all praises to the Most High, that most of the Igbos do know today that, okay, yeah, they are coming from Israel. Okay, I hope the other tribes we know, but not the Fulanese. The Fulanese are never our people. As always, I do say, the Fulanese are the parasites living among us, and these are the uh, people the British government are using to what to genocide to destroy the indigenous people of so-called Nigeria, the Janjaweed nation, according to uh, Mazin Amdikano. So the topic today, because we'll be go more as more extensively in the scripture. Biafra, the tribe of God, the Hebrews are from the tribe of God. And we're still going to watch a video 
of the children of Israel. Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, was having 12 sons from four women. And God, the father of the Igbos, okay, is coming from is, uh, of the eighth position. Okay, God, Igbos are the watchmen for the kingdom of God on earth. This is not just ordinary saying. This is biblical. We're going to trace the soul of who God is. God, when we spell it pro properly, G-A-U-R-D, which means God. A God is, so, it means a troop. We're going to see. Okay? Isaiah chapter 21, verse 5. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. What is that table? Well, we will see it later in the other scripture. I'm going to use the precept for that table. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. When you are watching in the watchtower, you are looking ahead for danger, for intruders, for people who want to come and kill, to steal, to rob, to rape, like what the Fulanis are doing. Okay? Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. Each drink arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. Okay, your shield, your your your, um, your weapon of war. Okay. Verse six. For thus at the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman. What is jo the job of a watchman? To watch, to protect the citizen, the people when they are they are asleep or when they are doing their normal business god is the one that god gave that position among all the children of israel okay and before god will take somebody like that that person must be a warrior okay for thus at the lord said unto me go set a watchman let him declare what he seeth isaiah 54 verse 11 O thou afflicted toes with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fear colors, and lay thy foundation with sapphires. Verse 12, and I will make thy windows of agates. Agate is the eighth the stone of uh, God. And thy gates of carbon coals. Carbon coals belong to the Levite, which is coming from the third child of Jacob. And Levite are the one who stand at the gate. You see, watchtower is watching from the top window, but the gate is at the door, which, uh, you know, teaching the laws. And all the borders of pleasant stones. The Igbo's geographical location is southeast of Nigeria. The Igbo's or Igbo are one of the grandchildren of Jacob. The Igbo believe their father is Iri, okay, and Iri is one of the children of uh, God, whose name was changed to Israel. The name of Jacob was changed to Israel. Iri is one of God's sons, and God is the eighth son of of the 12 sons of the children of Israel whose name was changed with Jacob and one of God's blessing blessing is blessed as a lion and tarried the arm the power with the crown on the head God just mean troops Genesis chapter 30 verse 11 and Leah said one of the wife of Jacob a troop a troop cometh so when the mother of God was giving birth to him, Leah said, oh, a troop coming. God put the word in her mouth. And the meaning of troop is just, the meaning of God is true. A troop coming, and she called his name God. Let's see the troop meaning soldiers or armed forces. Okay? A cavalry unit commanded by a, a captain okay of a group of people come or go together or in a large numbers the tribe of god the biafrans are known warriors in israel 
ever ready for battle. That is the nature of the so uh, the, the, the evils, the children of God. Okay? First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 14. These were of the sons of God, captains of the host. Captain of the host. When we go to the book of Judges, we will see the captain of the host. Okay? Which is who they call Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay, it just came to my mind now. One of the least was over, one of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. Verse 15. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all its bands, and they put to flight all them of the valley, both toward the east and toward the west. You see the nature of the uh, Biafrans, they are warriors. They are warriors, and we're still going to see the, uh, uh, the attributes of God. We can also read the book of First Chronicles, chapter 12, 8 to 9. So we can see the image of the evils, okay? On the far right there, this is our lovely sister in a native costume on a wedding day, okay? We see the, the eagles are musically fit, talented, okay? Blowing the weasel with wood, wooden weasel, okay? And we see some of our beautiful sisters doing uh, a traditional wedding, okay? And we see, now we know why they have, uh, below there we see our red cap chiefs with a uh, uh, six-point star, which they say is a star of David. David never had a star, okay? This uh, three-point star is going to a, a pomegranate. Pomegranate is always having six, po uh, six points. Okay? And when we pomegranate, it means to give knowledge. Okay? Everything is in the scripture. This is why King Solomon had a lot of pomegranate uh, design in the temple. And we see on the other image, we see uh, red cap chiefs in the Hebrew land, in the community. Okay? The real Israelite, the Jews are black. But let's watch a video, then we narrate on this one. This next video is going to take us uh, about seven minutes. But it's very interesting. Oba, Sinaglere, why not I be me? Oba, if you first saw it today. Oba, 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 those Okay, you can a guard. Yes, you guard. Oh, well, I can none and move over. Yeah, guard. Uh, uh, okay, I want guard. Uh, uh, seven son of Jacob. Uh, is it uh, 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 so in in this is uh Iba Iba my connection. Bobo and my connection they were nineteen seventy six. But as ever King Solomon Safadic Federation. Okay, Safadic Federation is uh certificate is an official appointment of Eze A E to go mega to the post of the head Igbo is the light. Hey! So we see they made a statement there, Igbo Israelite. Yes, they are, we are the Israelites, okay? But they said uh, they initiated the brother into Safar Safaric Jews. I, would, I can't pronounce it. But these Safaric Jews are the so the Jewish that came into our land when the Assyrian king, you know, took our people, the Northern Kingdom, into slavery. Then he brought the, the people they call themselves Jewish today into the land. They are not the real Jews, 
okay they stole our identity now they are selling okay our heritage to our brother there he didn't know that okay we are the real jews we are the real israelite but the white man the, who call themselves jewish they stole the identity now they're saying okay yeah they are initiating the uh, humble brother Representative of the King Solomon Sepharic and the Federation in Nigeria, this appointment was approved on May the uh, May 22nd, 1997, at our International Conference of Judeans, Hebrews, and Israelites. So now I is a get a base Israel. Say, but we know. But I'm base like that. Ah, now they get me. They get me now, ba. Oh, can I not? Yeah, yeah, make that. Yeah, so. Yeah, now, now, now. 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 Even I want this is uh, you are prophet of uh, it can, of prophet. Can, prophet of, can read it. Okay. October twenty fifth, two thousand seven, Shalom. To so our brother King Eze, A E Tukemakeri, the descendant of Eri, uh, from the school of a prophet in America, who have been um who have been uh, engrafted into the tribe of Judah through Yeshua, Ben, David. Uh, we align our Sorry, the tribe of Judah is only the three tribes, which is the southern kingdom, which comprises Judah, Levi, that is the Levite, and Benjamin, which today we will, we will call the Yorubas, the people, the Ashanti, okay, and the Bini people, okay? These are the three people of the southern kingdom, kingdom which is known as Judah, okay? So the white man is just lying. He's just covering himself up. They say, okay, he's among of the children of Israel. Okay? The white man is not an Israelite. He's not a Jew. Okay? And the Igbos, the Bigad, uh, uh, Ephraim, Manasseh, Reuben, uh, Asher, Naphtali, and the other rest group, they, are, they belong to the Northern Kingdom. Okay? Self with the purpose of God for your purpose, uh, for your people are spoken through the word of the uh, patriarch Jacob mm -hmm. in Genesis 49 19 and the prophet Moses in the Deuteronomy 33 20. We stand with you in prayer, knowing because it is written in the Toma, okay, in the to uh, letter, or is it Tanakh, that you will overcome all opposition to your destiny and enter into the fullness of God as people, as a people. We acknowledge through our study of the Tanakh that you are the brave and the faithful warrior, endured with the boldness of a lion, while possessing the wisdom of he, uh, Hesh, is it Heshem? To the administ administ administer his uh, justice in the earth. As we have studied the history of your people and nation, we have uh, wept for the pain that you have suffered. We pray that the uh, Ruach ha Hadith, please comfort you in your grief, um, pour upon you. This is what a white man had put himself in the position of the Jew. Okay? Now is now is consecrating the real Jew, the real Israelite man. You see, he is now consecrating. This is why they gave him that certificate. But the real uh, Israelite man, the, the our brother there, the Hebrew man, is the real one. Uh, uh, the the uh, the white man is just faking it. He's just faking it because they know what it means to be an Israelite. They know what it means to be a Jew. Although all of us, we are the Israelite. Okay? When I say all of us, the 12 tribes of the children of Jacob. The oil of joy and the clothes you with the garment of praise may hash your wife. Let me forward it a little bit.
Before so now we can testify that even a white man knows that the Igbos are from the tribe of God. Okay? They are from the tribe of God. And, and God is having one of his sons is Iri. And most in the, the man spoke, spoke about Obu Iri, Obu, uh, what's it called? Obu, Obu God. Okay? So now, the real Israelite, the Jews are black. Jeremiah 14.2. Okay, say the Judah monet and the gate thereof language, they are black unto the ground. Which race of people they call black? All you so-called black man, woman, and children living here in Europe and America, coming from Africa or Caribbean, okay? When you're filling an application or maybe you're filling a form, they say, what is your ethnic city? They say, African black, Caribbean black, American black. Why do they put it there? Okay? You see the game the so-called white people are playing? They know that we are the real people of God. We are the real people of the Bible. Okay? This is why I, I showed the, on one side the original Israelite of the Holy Bible. Forget about the way the fake Jewish they dress. Okay? Then this is contrary to the way the Jew, uh, the real Jew Israelite we dress. They created this one for themselves during the uh, what is empire? No, then, okay, Caesars, uh, Caesars, okay. So this is when they created this. So when you see our dark brother, you see what they put on the front on the front of their forehead. It's not okay. It's in the scripture, but this is not what the scripture means. Most I just say meditate. Uh, uh, day and night upon the loss of the most high. When you meditate, you know, on your brain, your forehead, it's there somewhere in the book of Proverbs. Okay? But you see them, they stole our identity. This on the uh, other side here, you see the fake Jewish clan. They stole our identity and Britain, America, and the Arabs, they knew about it. But they kept mute. It's high time we have to wake up because we are living in the last days. Okay, we are taking the kingdom. This is why you see, when we, I started uh, from the statement of Inam the Kanu, that Biafra will be the kingdom of God on earth. Okay, technically, it's all the old 12 tribes. Okay? Okay, Judah and God, the reincarnation of Adam. Okay, Jacob had 12 sons, and according to the position of their birth, is being represented by 12 different stones. Judah and God, the reincarnated soul of Adam. Jacob had 12 sons, and according to the position of their birth, is being represented by 12 different stones, which have meaning in the foundation of the kingdom of God. Of, on the earth God is in the eighth position and his stone is agate why Judah is in the fourth position and the stone is emerald okay let's go into book of Exodus 28 17 and thou shalt set in the settings of stones even four rows of stones the first row shall be a sardius that is Reuben Topaz Simeon Carbuncle that is Levi, Levi. This shall be the first row. And the second row shall be an emerald. That is uh, Judah, which are the Yorubas, sapphire and diamond. And the third row, a liga, an agate. Agate is the stone of God, Hebrews. And amantesis. It seems the Asha is amantesis, the Ausa. So let's start now with Judah. Okay, because God said he will save the tent of Judah first. From all what is happening on the face of the earth today, it's just God is preparing us for the war of Armageddon, the coming of the black Messiah, who they ignorantly, ignorantly call Jesus. He is a black man, and his people are dark-skinned men. 
He's from the tribe of Judah. This is why uh, Hemrod represents throne, okay? Genesis 49 verse 10. The scepter, the rulership shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Okay? That is the rulership of the kingdom of God, okay, will not depart from Judah. However, God also has similar prophecy, but similar prophecy for God is he will be a lawgiver law because uh, the soul of Judah and God is the same soul. Okay, we, 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 we will go there later. Okay, now let's go to Revelation chapter 4 verse 2. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, the throne was set in heaven, and one set, sat on the throne, one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper. Okay, when we say jasper, jasper is the last stone of, uh, on the uh, 12th tribe of Israel, which is Benjamin. Then the, uh, the scripture says, the last will be the first. Normally, Reuben is the first, but the scripture tells us the last will be the first. And that stone, Jasper, is the soul of Christ, Yahweh shall also. They say, who was sitting on the throne in heaven is Christ. Although no one has seen God, so we see Christ, Jasper, upon like Jasper and sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne inside like unto emerald who is having emerald stone judah the yorubas that's why the scriptures say the scepter shall not depart from what from judah nor a lawgiver between his feet until shiloh come and to unto him shall the gathering of the people okay then god ego agate okay that is the stone of god he's a warrior okay and is the watchman of the nation of Israel. Genesis chapter 30, verse 11. And Leah said, A troop cometh, and she called his name God. The meaning of God is a troop, watchmen, warriors, fighters. Isaiah 21, verse 6. For thus had the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman. Let him declare what he seeth. This is the part Biafra is playing now. That was the, this is the part in Amdekanu was playing. And the, the, the British knew about it. This is why they have to put him in prison. Don't always say it's Fulani. Okay, Fulani is the hand of the British in where? In Nigeria. Okay? They know all this prophecy, the British, okay? But it's not in their favor. Okay? And immediately I was in the spirit and be, okay, sorry, I was on the guard. For thus are the Lord said unto me, go set a watchman. Who is that watchman now God is using from the tribe of God? In Amdekano. And most I know that, okay, they will lock in Amdekano up. Let me read you a scripture for us here in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Bible. I will read it in, from the book of uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 2. And verse 10. Because the word of the Most High God is always true. Okay? What of if some people does not believe it? That does not change the word of God. The prophecy of God believing every living soul. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it. Okay? This is the word of the Most High God. And this is what we are doing on this, on this channel. Okay? Bringing to life the, you know, the, the prophecy of the Most High God, because the prophet, prophecies of God is happening in our in, as we are living, and most people do not consider it; they can't see it. This is why they are blind to it. Okay, Revelation chapter two, verse ten: Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So my question is: Who put in the canoe in the prison? The British government using the Fulani. And what did God call him? The devil. That is the devil. Okay? But our people still today, they still want to have what? Okay, we want to go and have fire, get a referendum from the British government 
uh, the Yoruba people say, okay, yeah, we still want to go uh, uh, to you, waiting for United Nations. Okay, we can wait for donkey years. The people you are dealing with, they are the devil. They know who you are, black man, woman, and, and children. Okay? For thus, I said, uh, for thus are the Lord said unto me, go set a watchman. Let him declare what he seeth. Okay? In Amdekano, is, is that watchman now from the tribe, it's from the tribe of, tribe of God. Okay? What he see, he, uh, uh, he's seeing, this is what he's telling. This is why the Fulani ate him. This is why the British government, they, uh, they put him in prison. Okay? Isaiah 21 verse 12. And now we make thy windows of agate. Okay? What is the job of a watchman? He stays at the window to keep watching. This is why we have agates. And the gate of carbon carbocles, which are the Levites, the majority are the people of the Ashanti. They are the priests. And all thy borders of players and stones. God just means truth. Who is, is it that is it, it, sorry. Who is it that is coming with troops of his heavenly armies? That is the question. Because I have to link this one to Revelation chapter 19. And I saw, verse 11, and I saw heaven open, and behold the white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, floated in fine linen, white and clean. Fine linen just means righteousness, the righteousness of God, keeping the commandment of the Most High God. Okay? Now, we go back to God. The tribe of God, egos are the troops of the watchmen for the kingdom of God on earth. You see why the evil, the name God means troop. Isaiah 21 verse 5, prepare the table. Because why I'm reading Isaiah 21 5, I read it before, now we're going to break down the table. Prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. My question now is, what is the table? The table will go to Psalm 23, verse 3. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no what? No evil. Now, we are living in the shadow of death in Nigeria. But once we are keeping the laws of the Most High God, we are protected. We don't fear the Fulanese. We don't fear all the evil they want to bring. This is just a, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, now the British, the Fulani want to take the children of Israel into slavery the second time because this is what the British and Americans and the white people are planning. I will fear no evil for thou art with me, thy rod and the staff. What is that rod? The laws. They will use the rod, you know, rod to, to, to score the child, okay, which is the law. And the staff, we use the staff to lead the way, to support the rod and the staff they comfort me which is the law and he said thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies who are our enemies that table is the law that will keep us right put us right okay prepare it before us in the presence of our enemies the white men you know uh, the arab the chinese the fulanese and the other nation who are not israelites they are our enemies god prepare a table before uh, before them this is why uh, you know, uh, uh, Psalm 50. Let me go to Psalm 50. Psalm 50. I believe verse 11. No. This is why the scriptures say, I will set them right before thy face. Now, the Most High is setting us right by keeping the command, his commandment. You know, I believe in Psalm 50 uh, or, or 68. But however, you know, I just paraphrased somewhere in Psalm 50 or Psalm 58. So, so that the table the God set before us is the law of the Most High God. 
which will be a protection and a shield upon us. Okay? This is why the book of, uh, uh, what do I say? Ephesians. Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 11. Now let me start from verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the power of his might. Put on the old armor of God. What is that armor? Okay? To keep the laws of the Most High God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What is that, the wiles of the devil? What they're doing to you in Nigeria now? Okay? See the way they are playing game? The governors in, in, in southeastern uh, Eastern Nigeria. We see the game they are playing. Now I was listening to a documentary of what or today on the news. How they want the, uh, the Nigerian, uh, one Nigerian um, journalist, we are saying now what is happening in the eastern part of Nigeria. Now we see a lot of group of people. Now they are having their, their, their own military. But who are creating the other military? Okay? So Ludo has his own military, as I heard. Uh, Pat, uh, is it Patrick Kumba? You know, and some other, uh, and who is his name? Asari Dokumbo. You see, they are the ones creating all this uh, contraction. But now, just to say, okay, yeah, okay, he, even all of them, and the IPOB, all of them, they are creating uh, civil unrest in, in, in southeastern Nigeria. Whereas, it's the Fulani and the, and the British government, they are creating it. Okay? For thus are the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he see. So what Inam the Kanu was say, seeing, this is what he was saying. Up to the point he was you know, kidnapped, arrest, uh, kidnapped and taken back to Nigeria and put in prison. However, Nigerian court system they said is free, they still locked him up. You see, Isaiah 21 verse 7, he said, and he saw a chariot with a couple of horses, a chariot of asses and a chariot of camel. That is, I uh, saw uh, uh, a couple of horsemen. That is Fulani on horsemen, Nigerian, British Fulani soldiers, you know, Boko Haram, ISIS, well, all those people. This is what he's trying to say. Uh, and a chariot of camels, and he acted dil diligently with much heat. And he cried, a lion. Why does he say a lion? The lion is the United Kingdom because it's the lion, the United Kingdom that sent the Fulani. It's the United Kingdom that is using the Boko Haram. It's the United Kingdom that set the, uh, the uh, high swap there. Okay? My Lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime and I'm set in my watch all night. That he said, he is always watching 24 seconds, 24 seven. And behold, there come a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen and answered and said, Babylon is falling, is falling. Now, because the period we are now, United Kingdom is the mother of Babylon and America is the daughter of Babylon. Now, you know the song that say, London Bridge is falling down, is falling down. Babylon is falling in the spiritual realm. But you people cannot see what is happening. Prophecy is playing out before, our, uh, before us, but our people cannot see it. Okay? Babylon is falling, is falling. The United Kingdom is falling. The white race is falling. It's already falling in the spiritual realm. And all the graven images of the, our God, the, the white Jesus, is broken onto the ground. That is the prophecy. This is why Christ said they have eyes they cannot see. They are blind. But you're still following about politics, politics. Judah, Yoruba, and God, Igbo, are split soul with, simil with similarity in They have similarity in blessings. To know the reincarnated soul of God, the great ancestor of the, of the Igbos, Biafra, we have to check into the blessings of Jacob and that of Moses that they gave to God and the tribe. 
because Jacob, their father, gave them a blessing from God and their characteristic, characteristics and attributes that we will know who they are in these la uh, latter days. And also Moses, the prophet of the Most High God, did uh, same thing also. So blessing of God, Genesis 49, 19. God, let, let's know God, a troop shall overcome him. Now this is now, we know the, the meaning of God is a troop. But God is saying, God, a troop, troops will overcome you. But ye shall overcome at last. Now, let's see in uh, what happened to the evils when they were over uh, uh, the the British, you know, subdued them. Then the Nigerian British troop conquered the Biafran tribe of God. According to information, the British first invaded Ndoni in 1870 and bombarded Onicha, Ado, Onicha on November 2nd, 1897 from River Niger and then engaged the Anioma people of Ibusa in 1898. B before the British will come to this level, you have to know that the Biafrans, the children of God, they are warriors, they are really fighting, okay? While the war continues, some British besieged Aaron Chuku, okay? Which was the center of the Arrow Confederacy on November 1901 and destroyed the Arrow Kingdom in 1902. Now we know the great uh, movement, Ekwemeku movement, was the name of Anioma warriors that held the British at bay and fought them for 31 years from 1883 to 1914. The reason was to prevent the British from entering not only in Anioma land but also in Igbo land in general. Okay, we see we can see it on uh, on on the net. Okay, then we come to the uh, Biafra War of 1967 on May 30, 1967. Ojuku declared the secession. So this is the way they always change the narrative. Secession is what is a negative word. Okay, because it cannot just declare it because they didn't the Nigerian government. Did not come to the uh, to the uh, did not conform to the Aburi uh, Convention in Ghana. Okay, Ojuku declared the secession of the three states of the eastern region under the name of the B Republic of Biafra, which Nigerian federal government interpreted as an act of rebellion. Fighting broke out in early July. Within weeks, the conflict had escalated into a full-scale civil war. African state Côte d'Ivoire, Gabon, Tanzania, and Zambia. France provided weapons to Biafra, while the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union sent arms to the federal government. Okay, we see the part United Kingdom is playing. And today, they say there's a war between Russia and Ukraine. We know, I won't go into there, that now. Now we can see the images that we see that the Igbos, they are, they, are, they are born warriors, fighters, okay, the children of God. The Ekumeku, Ekumeku resistance, we see with their native, uh, with their charms, and we see the Biafran war explained, okay, we see who is behind it, the Britain is behind all these atrocities that is going on, just because they want to have what? They want to get natural resources and crude oil okay the, the, the final Biafran collapse began on December 24 1969 when federal troops launched a significant offensive Biafra was short on ammunition its people were desperate for food and its leaders controlled only one sixth of the territory that had formed the Biafran Republic in 19 Okay, this is what the uh, Britannica said that what led to uh, Biafra to surrender. Okay? So, according to the prophecy, we're going back to the prophecy now, that truth will conquer and overcome God. This is why I just brought those two, that God, they overcame God. And who are these people? It's still the same British government. 
They are the ones doing it then. They are still the ones doing it today. They are just using Fulani as a cover-up. This happened in 1883 to 1914 and 1967 to 1970, respectively. But God will overcome. That is the prophecy. God will overcome at last in the last days. That is coming to pass in this present day in Nigeria, the southeast of Nigeria, under Prime Minister Simon Ekwa, is bringing the Biafrans to the victory of that prophecy. Because God will conquer at last, we overcome at last. Of that prophecy of the blessing of God, prophecy by Jacob upon him by the creator of God's power. Okay, let's read another prophecy regarding God. Deuteronomy 33, verse 20. And of God, he said, Blessed be he that enlarged God. Who enlarged God? God, the creator almighty. Ebube Chuku. He dwelleth as a lion. God is also a lion. What is the work of a lion? He's a warrior. King of the jungle. And chariot the ham with the crown on the head. And he provided the first part of himself because they are in a position, portion of the lawgiver. Was he seated? So that means it's related to the, the, the blessing of Judah. And we see God and Judah, they are the same split soul, which is the soul of Adam, the first man created. And he provided the first part of himself because there in a portion of the Lord giver was he seated and he came with the edge of the people. He executed the justice of Yahweh. What is happening in the Southeast Nigeria today? Okay. In Amdekanu and uh, Simon Ekwa, they are executing the judgment of the Most High God. Blessing of Judah, Genesis 49.9. Judah is a lion's well. Is it not the same thing? He's a lion. God also is a lion. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up, he stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion. Hmm. An old lion, who shall rouse him up? Okay, who rouse the Yorubas up now? We know the Biafra will be fighting for quite a long time now, but who rouse the Yoruba up? The full and banditry rouses Judah the Yoruba up. What was their intention of the Fulani? They want to take over the land, killing, stealing, uh, taking our land, raping our mothers, you know, taking the farmland. This is why God brought uh, Chief Sunday Igbo. Okay, Deuteronomy 33, verse 7. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord Yahweh, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hand be sufficient for him and be thou an help to him from his enemies. So God is going to be an help to us, you know, against our enemies. So now we have the comparison of Judah, Yoruba, and God, Igbo. You know, we see ruler, God also is a ruler and judge. Uh, the lion, the warrior, both are warrior. But there's something that is only exclusive for Judah, Genesis 49, 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. So this one is only given to Judah. However, Judah and God is the split soul of who the Bible called Adam, who came as Christ. Okay? But in this dispensation, when they came as the children of uh, Jacob, Judah is the one that we have you known all the other children of the tribe have to bow down to. Okay? Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart the rulership. The staff of authority of rulership shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall be the gathering of the people, until Christ come. This is why we have Revelation chapter 19 from verse 11 down. Okay? First Chronicle 28, verse 4, this is what King David said. How be it the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever, for he has chosen Judah 
You see, it's always consistent. Judah to be the ruler and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all Israel. So Judah is meant to rule over all Israel, to be king. Divine purpose of the Yorubas and Igbos to be in the southwest and southeast of Nigeria. So we can call it south. But we have southwest and southeast. And one clue I want to give our people, anyone that is listening to this uh, YouTube video, okay? Whenever you're listening to what is happening in Russia-Ukraine war, especially in Ukraine, Okay, is a code. When you are hearing about East, Southeast, when you are hearing about uh, the East, they're talking about the Eastern part of Nigeria, Bekmut. And when they want to take the nar their narrative to Southwest of Nigeria, they will use another city in uh, West of where? Of Ukraine. Okay, they always shift the narrative. Okay, it's a little bit complicating, but you know, God will give us understanding. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. We are the prisoners of hope, the children of Israel. Even today, do I declare that I will render double unto thee. God is going to give us double because we suffer so much. When I have been Judah, why does he say when he has been Judah? Judah, the, the Yoruba, filled the bow with Ephraim. Ephraim is from the northern kingdom. However, a lot of Ephraimites are among us. This is just a clue. Okay? When I have been Judah for me and filled the bowl with Ephraim, and Ephraim is the head of the northern kingdom, which God is from the northern kingdom, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against the sons of Greece. Who are the Greeks? The civilization of the white people started with the Greeks. So there's going to be a race war in these last days. It's going to happen. This is part of what you're seeing in Nigeria, okay? And it's going to crop here into the United Kingdom. It's the most I doing, okay? I made this, I made thee as a sword of a mighty man. So the children of Israel are going to be a weapon, okay? And the Lord shall be seen over them. Who is going to give us the power? God said it's going to be seen over them, the UFO, the chariot. And his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. This is why you see the Biafra today. You know, this moment, no military can stand them, okay? No military can, because it's the most high that is doing the battle. And the Lord God shall bow, blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwind of the south. Where wind of the south is the key word. Where wind is the UFO, which the white man called UFOs, is the chariot of God. And the where wind of the south is what? Is to what? To deliver us. That's it. This I have the KJV Bible Ecclesiasticus in the book of Apocrypha, chapter 43 from 15. By his great power, he maketh the clouds. What is that cloud? Is it where when the chariot, the UFOs, so called, firm, and the hailstones are broken small. This is where the hailstone is going to fall upon the enemies, come fall upon the European nation, UK, Europe, America, and Australia. Okay? And at his side, the mountains are shaking. And at his will, the south wind, we are wind of the south. The south wind blow away. The, the noise of the thunder make the edge to tremble. Earthquake, that is earthquake. So does the northern storm. And the whirlwind wind has birds flying. The UFO, the chariots, has birds flying. It scattered the snow. And the falling down the, the rough is as the lighting of grasshoppers. Okay, the UK, the chief nation that doesn't want Nigeria to separate, is against the two nations. Okay, because it's United Kingdom that doesn't want Nigeria to separate because of the ill gain, the stealing of natural resources. Have you forgotten? God said, sent Moses to Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaohs, you know, never want the people of God to go. We are the people of God. So who is playing the part of Pharaoh today is the United Kingdom and the whole entire white race. Okay? This is why Ezekiel 35 verse 10 says, because thou hast said, these two nations 
and these two, two countries. Why two nations? The nation of uh, Yoruba nation and the what? The Biafra nation. These are these two nations. The Northern, Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Okay? However, Ephraim is the head of the Northern Kingdom. But the soul of God is a warrior, which is the soul of who we call Yahweh Shai Christ. Okay? So, and Judah also is the same soul, Yahweh Shai Christ. So these two warriors, nation, they God brought them out in these last days. These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it. This is the mind of the white man, that they will possess our land. Whereas Yahweh was there, Yahweh, God is there. You know, this is where you see what is happening in the southeast today. It's most time that is moving everything. Okay, it's just using, okay, Simon Equa and in Amdekanu, but the most high is the one behind everything that is going on. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, because the white man envy us, the children of Israel, because we have abundant mineral resources and the kingdom of God is only for us, the children of Israel. We thou hast used out of the hatred against them, and I, I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. Now is the judgment that is coming. The God Almighty, Yahweh, is about to judge the whole earth and judge the United Kingdom, the so-called white race, and everybody, you know, because this is why the nation, they are afraid. They are afraid because of the judgment of the Most High God that is coming, you know. So this is why uh, we end with this video. Let's continue with this video. No. Okay, my special video where your government here yeah, able governor say they go see maybe a tourist center. Why in the garage? Come on. Me check one here, na. This is my this is my coronation picture. Oh, this is my coronation picture. Like the year be that for ne? Hey, them go chili, them go chili guys. Check is here. I talk about forty something years. Forty seven years. Wow. This, this is my coronation. This is my coronation picture. Mu adeva. So it is the thirty fourth S. It must be a phone. It must be no. But the bobo. Man, he bobo. He bobo. He bobo. This is my coronation picture. S S S N D. Bumba. S S N D. Number 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 can I feel that you want to be a teacher? Okay, let me on that. Let me on that. Okay, open that number. Is that the man? Ah, is my his? Okay, we are African American. Ah, we are Iba Nigeria. Mbe Lu Lili, Mbe Mu Lili Eri. Eh, na November, November open. Ah, he have African American. Why look hundred and forty man? African American.
Shalom, shalom. Okay, I say all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yashad, Bashem Rakakwadash. Okay, I thank everyone for listening and for watching. I say a peaceful day.